when I first started practicing yoga, um, and I'm sure this is true for many, when I first started practicing, I, I came for my body. I was looking, I'd been doing a long term desk job and I'd become quite sedentary and my body felt like it had lost its vitality. I felt like I'd lost a lot of my flexibility. And so I began practicing postures as a way to get those parts of me back. And the thing that I discovered, as many have as well, I'm sure, is the amazing gift of yoga is that yes, my body became stronger once again, my body became more flexible again, but along the way, the piece that kept me practicing was I discovered that my mind, my heart, and my spirit became stronger and more flexible. The yoga of voice, similarly, um, some may come to because they don't like the sound of their voice. They wish that their voice had a greater sense of presence or power. And it will cultivate that. It will create greater resonance. It will give you more breath. You will find perhaps a, a, a greater ease of projection, a larger range. But I hope <laughs> that what others will discover, as I have, um, both through my work as an actor and as a teacher and as a yogi is that the amazing thing about this human body and because there are so many these interconnected layers of us the koshas the chakras we talk about in yoga anatomy if i cultivate a voice that is more present a voice that is more powerful i will feel more present and powerful in every aspect of my being when I become more connected to um, my breath and to a posture that is more in alignment with what I want to express from my inner being, um, when I find the physicality of that, the mental and emotional iteration of that comes along. So by doing these exercises, in which we are finding fluidity of the body and we are cultivating a stronger, um, more aligned body with a stronger and a more aligned breath and voice, all of those different parts of us begin to become more natural. They just come along for the ride. And that's ultimately what I'm really interested in. I hope that you will leave with a voice <laughs> that you are more in love with. But I know that what will happen is that they're in the process of cultivating a voice that you are more in love with. You will find the parts of yourself um, that you are more in love with and be able to express them, to share them, to communicate them more easily. Uh, join me for the Yoga of Voice. May 10th through 12th at Kripalu and look for a, a yoga of voice teacher training coming up soon.